Welcome back to Worst Engines or Not. Today we are talking about the Dodge 2.7 liter engine. The 2.7 liter engine debuted in 1998 in the LH series cars from Dodge and Chrysler. This engine design is based on the 3.5 liter engine. Changes had to be made to accommodate for the smaller displacement, but they are very similar. This is an aluminum block with cast iron cylinder liners and cast iron cylinder head. When they adapted this engine to be used for the LX series vehicles, they did drop the power a little bit. They did, however, increase the torque at launch. They thought that that would be better for utilization for daily driving. They also added an electronic throttle. These engines are known to fail well before 100,000 miles. There's definitely a lot of things to note about this engine. The first thing is that the LX series vehicles are a lot heavier than the LH series vehicles. They didn't increase the power to accommodate for this. So basically the engine just doesn't produce enough power for the vehicles that it was in. Now, whether it be because of that or another reason, these engines have an insufficient oil capacity and they also have extremely high operating temperatures. And then the most well-known of all of the issues is going to be the oil sludging. This engine has a timing chain that is driven by a water pump. This water pump utilizes a gasket that has a separator plate in it, which is known to be faulty. So eventually what happens is that gasket starts leaking and coolant and oil start to mix together in the crankcase and eventually it dilutes the oil and eventually you've got sludge buildup. And unless you are constantly changing and checking your oil, this is probably something that is going to affect you if you have this engine. Now, of course, vehicles that are not properly maintained are going to be a lot worse when it comes to the sludging issue, but this issue was big enough where there was actually a class action lawsuit that was filed. So if you have one of these engines and you're experiencing poor acceleration, loss of power, no oil pressure, this is definitely something to look out for. If you hear rods knocking, that means your bearings are starting to wear. And at that point, you definitely want to get it checked out immediately because this can cause catastrophic failure. Also, they did come out with a conventional gasket kit that is a fix for this however it's a lot of time and money to get that done especially for such an underpowered unit so timing chain issues are also prevalent in this engine the tensioners were made out of cheap plastic so eventually those start to wear out it's going to cause your chain to jump timing and since this is an interference engine that means that your valves and your pistons will collide if your timing is off which we all know ends in catastrophic failure all in all it's seemed like a lot of serious issues for such a small underpowered engine my personal opinion i definitely wouldn't want a vehicle that has this in there i would love to hear if you have ever had a vehicle with this engine in there if you have ever been personally victimized by the 2.7 liter